As I uh, look back uh, over nearly 40 years of studying virus, I certainly never imagined that I would be uh, standing here today. Um, viruses are incredible teachers and unraveling their secrets continues to reveal new wonders about biology and, and evolution. Um, as you've heard from, from Harold, my interest in flaviviruses was kindled as a postdoc and continued when I began my laboratory at uh, Washington University. We studied the prototype family member, yellow fever virus, a nasty mosquito-borne virus made famous by Walter Reed. It became the, the poster child for human vaccination based on a live attenuated variant derived in uh, 1937 by Nobel Prize recipient uh, Max Tyler. So I was in the midst of uh, exploring the details of yellow fever replication. Um, hepatitis C appeared on the scene in 1989 as the, as the major cause, you've heard, of non-A, non-B hepatitis. Uh, given its similarity to yellow fever and other flaviviruses, we began a, a, a small effort on this new human virus that was associated with progressive liver disease and cancer. And we really weren't specifically uh, searching for a cure. We were just trying to better understand uh, the virus. Um, Together with Ralph uh, and others in, in the field, we made progress but struggled, as you've heard, to get this virus to, to grow in the lab. And with each of these apparent uh, sort of breakthroughs, we were met with new roadblocks to overcome. So really, in, in both patients and in the laboratory, hepatitis C was really this sort of persistent, uh, persistent troublemaker. I have to admit that, that uh, many of us in the field uh, became increasingly frustrated by the difficulty in working with this virus and our slow progress at, at a time when new therapies were sorely needed uh, for patients. But when the breakthroughs finally came, the tools in hand to validate potential antivirals and to screen inhibitory compounds, a flood of new drugs uh, rapidly ensued, and you'll hear more about that from uh, Mike's comments, and we now, as you've heard, have regimens with amazing efficacy, very few side effects are now approved in, in the clinic, although we still face uh, problems in really sort of implementing this therapy on a, on a global scale, which we would all like to see. So it's, uh, it's wonderful to have played a, a small role in this biomedical success story, and I encourage you to sort of look at the acknowledgments to find out uh, sort of all the wonderful people that I've had the honor to work with over the many years, including Ralph and his lab. But uh, just sort of an anecdote, about 20 years ago, I was contacted by a uh, family uh, whose little girl um, had hepatitis C. And uh, we exchanged emails over the years, and for years they agonized over whether or not to, to treat the little girl or not. And they decided to wait for these, uh, these new drugs. And uh, just last week, uh, this message arrived in my email box, and I'll just read it. It says, hi, Charlie. I just read that you will be receiving a Lasker Award for your work in helping cure hep C. Congratulations. We are so excited for you and remain grateful that our daughter is cured and leading a happy, normal life. In fact, happily married with an 18-month-old, our daughter is now expecting her second child. And I think for a basic scientist, there's really no reward that is more unexpected than this or, or better than this. Um, so in closing, I just want to sort of uh, tell you another anecdote. Um, I remember my mom asking me uh, sort of, why do you work on yellow fever? Uh, we have a vaccine for that, don't we? Um, she was right, of course, but, you know, we were curious about that virus and just sort of forged ahead anyway. And this experience with yellow fever paved the way for our work on hepatitis C, and to me reinforces the importance of keeping a diverse research portfolio. You really never know what's, what's going to come next. It also underscores the importance of supporting and promoting fundamental curiosity-driven research as the driver, I think, of great medical advances. So I want to thank you all for sharing in this, and I really am uh, sort of honored by this award for me and the field and my colleagues. Thank you.